Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for a shave video. Uh, as, <laughs> as you can see here on one of my last shaves with the shavet, I'd just come across and just nicked it. It was just real bad angle, but I've been having heaps of fun with the shavet lately. Uh, <clears throat> I've been using DE blades as well, which have actually been really cool. Yeah, you get really sort of, um, well, I do anyway, I get sort of intimidated with the DE blades because they're so much thinner, they are so much less forgiving than what I'm going to be using today, which is the IBC Shavet with the Feather Artist Club Blades. This one has the professional, um, yeah, Feather Professional in here. I've just noticed, if you can see that, it's not lined up 100%. You can probably see that in that reflection there. And um, I had this issue last time I was loading it with the Artist Club Blades. Um, there's not actual pole pieces to lock this blade in. Uh, sorry guys, just concentrating, trying to trying to put this in safely without cutting myself before I even start the shave. And um, the cool thing about this uh, shaveette though is that <clears throat> the actual loading mechanism itself, it's it's um. Magnetic, which I think is quite cool. So you can just place the blade on it, just sort of magnetically stays there. So that's that's all in line now, that's all ready to go. Feather Artist Club, Feather Professional. We're gonna be using Shaver Heaven. Absolutely love this scent. If you can't tell by the name, Noir, it's based off Draca Noir which I also have as a spray there. This stuff, absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's some, there's a little bit more natural grassy scent to this, which I absolutely love. Um, so to me, it's a more natural smell than a cologne, but it's still very, very close. And if you haven't been now uh, watching over the past month, I'm using the Smoke 1470, um, Monday to Friday. And then on weekends, I use whatever I want. So it's just in an effort to help really break in my ball brushes. Because I know that they were, you know, missing out on a bit of love. So, wet in the face. Um, just in the middle of um, watching Kai's latest video. And uh, he's saying that I'm really helping enable him. And I remember, I, I know a lot of people call it the bottomless pit. I'm past that, man. I'm straight in the abyss, so. Kai, welcome to the abyss, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a scary hobby. <laughs> and obviously, post shave, I'm gonna be using Barbado. My my skin's just cleared up completely after using it. It's just fantastic stuff. Uh, we will be uh, <clears throat> face lathering today, so I'm just gonna go straight into the tub. This is brand new. Uh, Andrew over at Shaver Heaven has just incredible service. Um, oh, I haven't even test lathered this yet. But I know Shaver Heaven, their stuff is fantastic. One of the best vegan soap bases I've ever used. And you guys know my preferences with tallow, so to say that this stuff is exceptional, it's, it's a really good vegan formula. On par, if not slightly better than Wickham. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love Shaver Heaven and the scents are ridiculous. I love the scents on Shaver Heaven. Um, part of the main reason why I love them so much, the scents are gorgeous. I think maybe the only sort of bit, <clears throat> the only sort of thing that Shaver Heaven are missing is packaging, but that's just because the, the latest brands now are putting out some stupidly beautiful packaging, tallow and steel being my number one. Um, they are absolutely unrivaled in my opinion. And oh God, I can just tell this lather's good just from the feel on the face. It's dense, really dense. Very, very slick, creamy. The scent strength out of the tub, maybe like a five maybe around that. Nothing crazy, but it's definitely there, which is great. Um, what was I talking about before that? 
Oh yeah, packaging. Um, I like his packaging. Don't get me wrong. But that's how good all the other categories of his soap are. The value for money, the performance, the sense, they are all fantastic. Um, I think that's probably the only thing where I could start criticizing on just about. Samoog 1470, this is a little 22 millimeter bore with a really short loft and it is so soft as soft as pretty much any badger I have it's that soft I'm not I'm not even kidding you any uh, bore brush exclusive people out there that pretty much only use bore brushes I know that was me for a point and that was actually pretty much just as I was starting to sort of wet shave, I was starting to experience some badges, but could I remember everyone was saying, you know, that if you think about bore brushes, you know, have a chat to Spence, see uh, what he thinks, because I've been through quite a few bore brushes. I love them and I still love them, but my preference is starting to go over to silver tip badges, which sucks because I've gone from brushes that can cost me like 20 bucks <laughs> to brushes that cost me like 200 bucks. Yeah, Kai did mention that I'm trying to get myself into straights, and yes, I am. Hence the heavy usage of shavettes lately. And I'm mega excited. I've been starting to get close, closer shaves with the shavettes, um, which is good. Um, they are probably not as comfortable as I was getting before, but I'm getting closer, which is good. Um, it's, been, it's been fantastic getting closer shaves with the shavette. And I haven't used an Artist Club blade in a little bit, so I'm excited to see how this goes. So I'll use this for the next couple of days, probably. My lips are so dry, it's bloody annoying. Hope everyone's doing awesome. Hope you guys have plenty of shave gear on the way. Much more intense angle needed on this shavette compared to the um, other DE shavette I have, which I don't know where I put. Ah, oh, this one. Then this one here, this uh, Ostodex. This one only needed a very sort of minimal, probably probably like that sort of angle, uh, which is what I see most straight uh, razor people do. This one needs a more deliberate angle. Not sure why that is. Maybe the um, casing around it comes out a little bit more. It's not as sharp, you know what I mean? Not as thin. These blades feel fantastic. Sorry, it's not the Feather Professional, it's the... No, it is. <laughs> Thought it was a Kai Captain Mo for a second. I really like the feel of these blades. Kai, by the way, I'm going to have to send you a tub of Shaver Heaven as well, man. This, that is so slick afterwards still. Beautiful. Gorgeous ladders too, seriously. Beautiful. I'm stoked with this stuff. Probably the main thing I think that's helped me is going slower. Really taking my time doing really um, purposeful strokes instead of just sort of just, you know, not thinking about, well, overthinking it and being too, 
too cautious is just to take nice deliberate strokes. You watch me, I'll cut myself as soon as I start being like, oh, I've improved so much. <laughs> it always happens. This IBC shaver is a little bit heavier than that um, Ostodex that I used yesterday too, which, to be honest, I think that Ostodex could be my favorite shaver, and it's the cheapest one I have. This is probably the best shaver, but just all in all, I think that shave that is fantastic, especially because it's the push to open, easiest loading mechanism out there. I'm really enjoying the shave that. It's really about thinking about the angle you're using as well. It's all about the feel. Really comfortable, eh? Really comfortable. I was going too steep on the angle. I was going too much this way. Like, that's over-exaggeration, but too much that way, I needed to bring it up a little bit more. And now, it's working well. And I've also changed from going like that. I've gone like that. I feel with the lighter shavettes, to have a little bit more weight behind it with the second finger really helps. It does take away a little bit from visibility doing that, but only by a little bit. So it's it's easy to work around. The um, chin is by far, for me, the hardest area to get right. The chin is my, it's not my trouble spot in terms of irritation, it's my trouble spot in terms of finding the angle. Just curling around it feels really unnatural for me compared to a DE where you can just go, I can do whatever you want with it. And also swapping hands to try different angles. See, here is a really difficult growth for me to get with the left hand for some reason. So I chuck it in the right hand. And do that, that, that makes it so much easier. It's so slick, this soap. Yeah, Kai, you're getting a tub. We're um, in the middle of doing this big trade box, which I'm so excited for. You should see some of the, actually no, keep it a surprise for you too. Um, some of the stuff that, that's going in it is incredible. Um, Kai is such a generous, generous guy. Um, re lather, added a bit of water. Like I've been um, saying that I've been doing lately, wear the lathers. They're performing better for me with shavettes. And DEs alike, actually. Um, but I, I really think that's sort of 
is on personal preference and as well considering the soap you're using. I think some of them obviously retain water a little bit better than others. Some of them, the really cushiony ones can take that bit more water. Some of them need to be really thick to sort of hold any sort of cushion, so. But this stuff is brilliant. This um, Shave of Heaven. If you love your vegan formulas, Shave of Heaven is a must try. If you're a tallow guy, this is a must try as well, just to see what the best of the best in vegan formulas are doing. This is brilliant stuff. I'm getting a tingle on my lips, but it's, it's not the soap. Because they're really dry. Such a pain. Alrighty. Uh, across the grain. I may only do two passes today, we'll see. But I've been loving the shave that. Ooh. Have a little weeper there. Nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, that feels incredible. That is so comfortable and so slick. This soap's awesome. Shed boar hair on there. Also, if you aren't a member already on the Instagram shaving groups, because I'd only just sort of recently got into them thanks to Chris. Um, join It's Just Shaving! Exclamation point. Um, you got to make sure you love cake. You need to love cake. That's just, just what, just wait. Join, join the group, and then you'll understand. Um, it's a really awesome group. The guys there are so friendly. They are the nicest group that I've joined. They are really. Fantastic bunch of peeps. Um, probably the one that I'm most active on. I just really, really enjoy the vibe and what goes down there. Uh, Pumpkinhead, have you watched this? G'day, mate. How are you? Never used to be able to do that with the shave it. Now it's um, getting a lot easier. Because that is against the grain here. So. Just going to be really cautious there just because I've already got that cut. I don't want to seep back into it again. Oh, look at that little bad boy. It's coming out now. Fantastic. Just going to go straight down again. But yeah, the, the reason why I brought up it's just shaving is it's um, I'm pretty sure it's one of Kai's top groups as well that is on. Uh, we're wanting to do a dual live shave. I've seen um, Abe, he does it on Live M5. That's another fantastic group with a fantastic bunch of guys. Uh, 
Um, yeah, he's been doing dual live shows, and I think that's an awesome idea. I think that's so cool. Can come up with a couple of topics and then just talk about them over the shave. I, th I think Kai is going to be a bit like me and just obsessive with reading the comments. Just uh -huh. so th that live show could go on for ages. Never could have pictured doing that either. <laughs> yeah, finally getting close on the chin. That's good. Alrighty. So just going for a comfortable shave today. I did get that little bit and this little bit here, but it's not something I'm all that fussed with. I'm just going for acceptable. And that is for me, with shaver, it's very, very uh, acceptable. Still definitely not up to the against the grain passes just yet. But they are definitely going to come with time, I promise you that. Alrighty. Rinse the face, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of alum. That's alright. I'll just do it only over the spots, just because I like feeling the burn of the barber dough. It's good. Alrighty. Omega, Allen Block. I, I prefer my Osma Block. If you, if you guys are a little bit confused with um, Allen Block, they're basically all the same. It's just a, a mineral, a salt mineral. Um, but for some reason, the Osmas, they don't get all crinkly and shit feeling and rough. This one doesn't really, but around the sides it sort of does. Um, I just preferred the Osma, I think. But I dropped it and smashed it. Yeah, I'll grab another Osma, I reckon. And all over forums they're saying Osmas are better. I don't know why, I'm not sure. If, well, there's nothing else in it. It's just a 100% natural mineral. But anyway, you can actually use these as a deodorant as well. I do have one that's that I just use for deodorants. Um... That is this one here. So it's just just the same. It's just a natural crystal. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. But even cooler stuff is that Shave Heaven Noir. Fantastic performance as always. Absolutely awesome shave. Quick cold water rinse. Feels really good. It's not super duper close, but it's very comfortable. Oh, I love the scent on this. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely awesome. Wash out the tub. I don't know how people don't wash out the tubs. It's such an OCD of mine. And I know Chris at another cut above, his his the same. Um, just having clean pucks, there's something about it. Shaver Heaven. Beautiful. Styric Acid, Aqua, Glycerin, uh, cocoa, uh, Cocos, Nucifera Oil, Elias Guineas Oil, which is sustainable palm oil. So I'd be careful with that. Um, 
because sustainable palm oil, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but a lot of vegans are very against palm oil because it's used to cut down trees, palm trees, which orangutans are in, and it's made them almost extinct because of it. It does say sustainable though, so I'm guessing it's in a palm tree farm. Uh, that sounds like Andrew, to be honest. Uh, Chris would be really pissed about this, but I'm not too bothered. Labeling. I know that he rants about it and I understand it, I really do, um, but it's, it's, they're never deal breakers for me. But the lid is bang on center, just about. A little bit heftier over this side, but Andrew, if you watch this, mate, this is only for Chris. This is for no one else. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic soap. Feels incredible on the face. Really dense, beautiful vegan soap. Um, I wonder if this base has changed from the old ones that I've got. I'll have to read the ingredients list one day. Um, that is the gorgeous Samoog. Beautiful brush. Um, gonna be going to Barbado as per usual. I'm gonna dry my face off first. And we'll pop on some Barbado. Nice little shake. Alrighty, let's throw this on and see how much burn we got. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Beautiful. Really comfortable shave. I'm, I really like the two passes, especially since I'm not really attempting against the grain just yet. Um, we'll get there. Just takes time, build up some confidence. I'm, I'm still not 100% confident across grain, so I'll get that nailed and then I'll try a couple of sort of stuff and then hopefully I can be like Jeffrey Smith and just be like whoosh, just go straight up um, that's the shave guys we'll quickly run through what we've used IBC shave it with a feather artist club feather professional on its first use feels incredible I really like these blades probably the sharpest out there I think the supers have a slightly um, thinner edge so they are sharper um, but that is Really, really nice. Uh, Samoog 1470. Absolutely awesome breaking in this brush. I'll be using it all week and all for the rest of June. I think it's June. Fuck knows. <laughs> I'll take one day by one day at a time. Every day. Shave of Heaven Noir. Absolutely gorgeous soap. If you like your Fougères, Dracar Noir, pick it up. Just give it a crack. Went with the awesome Barbado. That's a shave. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.